పాత నిబంధన గ్రంథంలోని ఓబద్యా పుస్తకాన్ని అలాగే క్రొత్త నిబంధనలో అపోస్ట్ అయిన పౌలు ఫిలోమోనికి రాసిన పత్రికని శామ్యుయల్ రాజ్ వినిపిస్తాడు Obadiah and Philemon, the vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a report from the Lord and a messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us rise against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. You shall be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who live in the clefts of the rocks and in lofty dwellings who say in your heart, who will bring me down to ground. Though you soar aloft like an eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. If thieves came to you, if plunderers came by night, how you have been destroyed? Would they not steal enough for themselves? If grave gatherers came to you, how... It would they not leave gleanings? How Esau has been plagued, his treasures sought out. All your allies have driven you to your border. Those at peace with you have deceived you. They have prevailed against you. Those who eat your bread set a trap beneath you. You have no understanding. Will I not on that day declare the Lord? Destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of Mount Esau. And uh, your mighty men shall be dismayed, O Timon, so, uh, so that every man of Mount Esau shall be cut off by slaughter. And because of the violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall come over you. You shall be cut off forever. On the day that you stood aloof, on the day Stranger carries off his wealth and entered and foreigners enter his case and cash loss of Jerusalem, you are like one of them. But do not gloat over the day of your brother in the day of his misfortune. Do not rejoice in uh, rejoice in the day uh, rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their ruin. Do not boast in the day of distress. Do not enter the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Do not uh, gloat over his disaster in the day of his calamity. Do not loot his wealth in the day, day of his calamity. Do not enter. Do not enter, do not, uh, do not st- stand at the crossroads to cut off his fugitives, uh, do not hand over his survivors in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all nations, as you have done, it shall be done to you, your deeds shall return to your own head, for you have drunk on my holy mountain, so all nations shall drink continually, you shall drink and swallow. and shall be though they have never been but in mount zion there shall be those who escape and it shall be holy and the house of jacob shall possess their own possessions the house of jacob shall be a fire the house of jacob shall uh, joseph shall be a flame the house of ishaw stubble they shall burn them and consume them and for there shall be no survivor for the house of ishaw for the lord has spoken those of negev shall possess uh, those of negev shall possess mount ishaw Uh, and those of Sevilla shall possess the land of Philistines, and they shall possess the land of Samaria and the land of Ephraim. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead. The exiles of the host of the people of Israel shall possess, shall possess uh, that of the la- land of Canaanites as far as Zarephath. And the exiles of Jerusalem shall possess the uh, cities of Negev. Saviour shall go up onto Mount Zion to rule Mount Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. the book of philemon paul abrazo of okay to mother brother to philemon our fellow worker to afia our sister akipas our fellow worker and all and church in your house i grace to you and peace from god and our god our father and lord jesus christ i thank my god whenever i remember you in my prayers because i hear of love and faith whenever i rem- uh, hear of love and faith I, that you have towards lord jesus christ and all of the saints and i pray that sharing of your faith shall be more effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of christ for i dear more joy and comfort from your love o oh my brother because uh, hearts of saints have been refreshed through you accordingly i am bold enough in christ to command you for what is required yet for love sake i appeal to you i paul an old man and now prisoner for christ i appeal to you for my child onesimus whose father i have become in my imprisonment formerly he was useless to you but now indeed he is useful for me and you i am sending him back to back to you sending my very heart I am glad to keep him with me in order that he might serve me uh, on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel but I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion but of your own accord for this perhaps you have been parted for a while that you might have him back forever no longer as a slave but more than a slave but as a beloved brother especially to me but how much more to you both in lord and in the flesh so if you consider me your partner receive him as you would receive me if he wronged you at all or roast you anything charge that to my account i paul write with my own as i'll repay it to say nothing of your own self of owing your own self yes uh, yes yes brother i want some benefit from you in the lord refresh my heart in christ at the same time prepare a, a guest room for me i am hoping as i'm hoping that your prayers will be graciously given to you if i first my fellow prisoner sends greeting you 
and so does Mark, Demas, Aristarchus, and Lucas, my fellow workers. And the grace of God, Lord Jesus Christ, be with your spirit. Thank you.